Welcome to the Amazing Clarks Podcast on the Black Love Podcast Network. My name is Anthony Clark. And I'm Melanie Clark. And we are the, the Amazing, Amazing Clarks. Clarks. We're both award-winning certified life and love coaches. We've been coaching together as a team for 22 years. And we're also a couple that have been happily married and passionately in love for 30 years. They call us the Amazing Clarks because we empower people to live amazing lives. So baby, tell them about the love revolution. The love revolution, my favorite. The love revolution is you and I coming out of our bedroom and our bliss Mm. to teach people how to love themselves and each other more so that we have more love on the planet. And boy, do we need it. And that's what this show is about. Yes. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. So how's your week been before we get started? Oh, by the way, we got a great topic coming up later on Mm -hmm. about EIP, and we'll break that down to you guys later. But first... What's been going on with your week? How are you doing, baby? I'm doing great. My week has been awesome. You know, during COVID, I started working home more, like mm-hmm. most people. You know, a lot right. of people are working from home. But I'm really enjoying working from home. So I've converted a lot of my own business mm-hmm. to working from home. So I'm getting kind of half and half, like half of the time I'm at home and half of the time I'm out. And I'm really loving that. I'm really loving the switching it up a little bit. I get to spend a lot of time with you. Right. But then I get to get away from you. And miss you. Good job, good job. So I'm, I'm liking that. I'm liking that a lot. Also been working out a lot on my Peloton. Yes, you have. And loving that. Yes, you have, a little skinny thing, you. I'm so excited. You know, I'm always working on, like, mindset. And I love figuring out how to get better and better at everything. Mm-hmm. And one of the things that I've been training myself on, I don't know if I told you this, is creating new habits. I just read some books on creating habits. And I'm creating a new habit for myself, working out. And the the um, tools that I'm using are working. And so I'm excited because I'm going to be sharing those with clients, too. Good job. So how are you, my love? I am great. Yeah. Thank you very yes, much you for are. asking. You know, I'm great, but my family's not doing Ooh, so great. Oh, yeah. Right. So, Sending them love. Yes, yes. So my people in North Carolina and Charlotte, my mother, my brother, my nephews, and my nieces, they all live in a big house in Charlotte. And my sister-in-law was having a baby. She had a baby last week. So she went to the hospital. Come, come to find out that the entire family has the coronavirus. Mm-hmm. Um, everybody except for my mother, which Yay. is good because I'm glad Mom she's older have and she has some health issues. So she's the last one that we want to catch it. Actually, we don't want anybody to get it, but the yeah. fact that they also, that's, let me see, that's the baby, I think, has it. I'm not sure if the baby has it. If the mother had it, Probably. then I would find it hard to believe that the baby wouldn't. Mm-hmm. The two two little kids, mm-hmm. my nieces and nephew, the, my brother, Kevin. Mm-hmm. And your wife, other brother. My other brother, Bernard. Mm-hmm. Right. So, yeah, that's everybody except for my mother. Are you sure they want you talking about their medical condition on it's your podcast? It's too late now. <laughs> it is too late, family. Deal with it. But I love y'all. That's right. I love y'all. I told y'all to stay safe. You know, didn't listen to me. Never do. But that's all right. <laughs> Anthony. I'm going to keep giving you advice and keep giving you my perspective. We'll I'm going to I'm gonna keep sending them love and healing. Yeah. Well, you, you know what? I want to thank you, too, for being such a good daughter-in-law. What? Yeah, one of the first things Melanie did, she reached out to my mother and was like, you all right? You, you okay? You need anything? Yeah, hey, I'm going to send you some packages with this, some, this new, th- new product where it's like, it keeps you hydrated. Yes. Right. And so she sent her that. It's and, like adult Pedialyte. Yeah. And it means a lot to me that you take the time to look out for my family like that, even though it's your family too. Of course. And that's one of the reasons why they love you so much. I said, because I send them packages? No, uh, because you give, them, you give them love. Yes. And you're a good person. Uh, your family's my family. Yeah. We're family. So I'm going to love them and look out for them the same way I'd love and look out for you. Yes, yes, yes. But everybody seems to be doing okay. Nobody has it, you know, nobody's hospitalized, knock on wood. And so uh, I think overall, everybody's going to be okay. Yeah. So stay safe, Ma. You know, stay away from the rest of them and uh, you'll get through this. We'll get, on the, we'll get on the other side of it. Yes, yes, yes. I'm keeping my focus on them healing quickly and easily. And, you know, I'm pretty, pretty powerful energetically. Mm-hmm. And your mom knows it too. Your mom's mm-hmm. like, I need your energy. So I told her, I got you. I'm sending you all the energy, all the love, wrapping all right. it all around you, Jean. I got you. And you know, when we went to visit them mm-hmm. a, a few weeks, a few months ago, mm-hmm. 
we were like, okay, they're not really safe. They're just <laughs> like all over the place. Then they're wearing a mask on their ear or hanging off the side of their face and on the top uh. like a hat. And it's like, people, let's take this more seriously. And so right. when we got back to California, we were a little paranoid mm -hmm. because we had little allergies and we were like, wait a minute, what's that? I, I got my nose, I'm sneezing, my nose is running. Mm -hmm. with a little cough. And so we went and got tested right away. Gratefully, we were okay. Yes. So that was EIP, by the way. Yes, yes. That was EIP. So, Anthony, what a great segue you just did. What is that, EIP? That was a setup. Uh, <laughs> I set that puppy up. Like, yes, you uh, did. Yeah, yeah. So, um, You're great at that, babe. Thank you. EIP is a mantra that we live by. Mm -hmm. A mantra that we teach all of our clients, our coaching clients, they all live by it. If you around us or you associated with us, you're gonna odds are you're gonna live by it too. Yes. So EIP stands for everything is perfect. Everything is perfect EIP. We believe that everything that unfolds is always unfolding for our greater good. No matter what happens in life, by reminding ourselves that there are no accidents in this universe, there are no mistakes, anything that unfolds, no matter how good or bad it is. Ultimately, in the long run, it's unfolding for our greater good. But the key is the universe plays chess, not checkers. And most people, they play checkers. So if something unfolds in their life, something good or bad, let's say something, you get a ticket. And they may look at it like, oh my God, this is a horrible thing. And then you'll get out of alignment. You'll be in resistance. You'll be angry. And then you're going to keep attracting more and more of that. And so... In life, the key is that anything that you don't accept, that you push against, it creates more resistance. And that resistance is going to push against you and bring you more anger, more desires, more experiences that you don't want. And so the key is just to have acceptance first. You can change it, always change it later, but you want to have accept what happened. Mm -hmm. So EIP, by reminding yourself that there are no accidents, there are no mistakes, everything that's unfolding is always unfolding for my greater good. And maybe not, maybe I can't see it right now, but I'll see it later on down the road. Mm -hmm. But it's going to work out to my advantage. So instead of getting pissed off at this thing, I'm going to actually embrace it and have gratitude and appreciation for it, which then I don't have resistance, which keeps me in alignment and I continue to flow. Right. So it's ultimately a way to, to accept what is, even if you don't like it. Right. I love EIP. And we, we've had clients actually tattoo EIP on their bodies, which I find amazing. Mm -hmm. That's how much it helps people. And the thing that I love about EIP, it, it helps people realize that even when things are not going the way that you want them to go, to kind of step back and let it unfold. It's taking you somewhere. Sometimes mm -hmm. things have to fall apart to be rebuilt. Maybe a relationship needs to end uncomfortably because you need to grow so that you're ready for your next relationship. Mm -hmm. And that's probably going to be the perfect relationship for you. But in the moment that you're going through it, you can't see that. So EIP is a way to remind yourself like EIP, everything is perfect. This is happening for a reason. There's a bigger picture. Mm -hmm. I just can't see it right now. Yeah. And always use the example like, let's say I got somewhere to go. And I go out to my car and I have a flat tire. But my initial response, I can't help. Right. That knee-jerk response is, damn it, I got a flat tire. You get pissed off. Mm -hmm. But by being pissed off, that anger is out of alignment. So that emotion reminds me, well, uh-oh, you better change your perspective. You right. better get in alignment or else you're going to get more of what you don't want. Mm -hmm. So the easiest way for me to do that is to remind myself, EIP, everything is perfect. There are no accidents. There are no mistakes. Everything's unfolding is unfolding for my greater good. So even this flat tire just unfolded for my greater good. Maybe it was to stop me from getting a ticket. Maybe it was to pre prevent me from getting into an accident. I don't know, but I'm grateful that it happened. So now instead of getting out of alignment, pissed off and having a horrible day that I'll never get back in my life, I'm going to remind myself EIP, accept it. Now, when I say accept it that doesn't mean you can you keep it that way right just accept yes this happened mm -hmm. yes it doesn't make me happy but it happened for a reason now what do i want to do about it so you can accept it mm -hmm. first and then change it then make your move to make it better right so then after reminding myself eip all of a sudden i feel better right and i feel more at peace now yeah 
And now, now my brain is functioning and I go, you know what? My baby's in the house. I'm going to go inside, get a cup of coffee. I'm going to go get her. We're going to come outside. I'm going to change this flat tire. We're going to listen to some love songs. We're going to drink coffee. We're going to make out and dance a little while I change the tire. <laughs> now, something that was a now bad... that's EIP. That's EIP. Yep. And something that's a bad experience now just turned into a great experience yeah. by using those three magical letters, yeah. EIP. Okay, Anthony, let's pause right there because there was something you were telling me about earlier that I think that you should share with our listeners. Yes. Shea Moisture Men has this great thing going on with a father's lullaby. Okay, I'm loving this already. <laughs> right. It's a way for black poppers to highlight our love and our joy for our children. But let's let them tell us about it. Shea Moisture Men is committed to celebrating dads daily. As a part of lifting their voices, we created a father's lullaby called Light Inside of You. This lullaby is for us, by us. It is our way of creating our own generational tradition to be passed down father to father. We want to share the voice of love, tenderness, and joy and hope that black dads already share with their babies and with the entire world. Let's normalize and celebrate black love in the form of a father's lullaby, our story, our song. The world needs to see and hear the love of black fathers. Go to shamoisture.com slash men or Shea Moisture Men on IG and listen to a father's lullaby and then challenge a black dad to share his story, his song, by singing the lullaby to his babies and posting it by using the hashtag a father's lullaby. That sounds really cool. I wish we had babies to sing to. What are you talking about? I'll call all of our grown kids and sing to them right now. <laughs> Shea Moisture Men has started a tradition. And I'm definitely not missing out. So listen up. I'm challenging all of the black men who are vital in raising all youth to head over to Shea Moisture Men on Instagram to celebrate black fatherhood. Yes. And ladies, get the men in your life on this too. Ah, it's awesome. But let's get back into this. Mm -hmm. We had a client before. Remember we were telling them about EIP? Uh -huh. And it was a couple. And I told them the tire story. Uh -huh. <laughs> and then they left our coaching session, went to the parking lot, and then we went out. And when we were leaving, they were in the parking lot. They had a flat tire. And they were dancing and listening to music and making out. And it was like, oh, my God, guys, it was EIP. We got a flat tire, too. And it turned out to, they had a great experience. They laughed it off instead of fighting and yeah. blaming each other. Well, EIP is also a reminder to ask yourself and ask your spirit, why is this happening? What's the big picture here? It helps you to kind of look more, look beyond what's actually happening just in that particular moment, you know? Right. And even in our relationship from day to day things, like let's say we get into a passionate debate. Mm -hmm. Even though I don't want to be in that passionate debate. Right. <laughs> and people, for those of you going, what the hell is a passionate debate? It's a fight. Mm -hmm. Okay. But we say passionate debate because we don't like the term fighting. Mm -hmm. And that's a whole nother story. But anyway, so even that passionate debate, even though I don't like it, I mm -hmm. always remind myself, this happened for a reason. We attracted it into our reality for a reason. There's something that this is going to lead us to. Yes. And so instead of getting upset about it, I actually find a gratitude. And it's like, you know what? I'm glad we went through that. It didn't feel good. Mm -hmm. It stretched me, but we needed that. And then later on down the road, we find out, you know what? That was perfect that we had that mm -hmm. passionate debate because it led us to something else, a new perspective or something that we wanted. I have experienced so much EIP in my life. And once you're aware of it, you'll see it everywhere. You'll yeah. experience it everywhere. Like our story on Black Love, when we talked about us breaking mm -hmm. up, that was EIP. Yeah. I would have never left Fresno. I was so attached to it. But when we broke up, I could not be there. Mm -hmm. So I moved to Southern California. And we have an amazing life here. So that breakup was EIP because it pushed me to come here. Mm-hmm. I've seen it in so many things. I've seen it in my work. I used to be a dental assistant. And I remember I worked for a doctor that said, you're going to check out all the patients and you're going to do their insurance and you're going to do this. And, you're... and I was so mad. Oh, I was mad. I was like, I, I'm so mad at him. I hate him. He's making me do stuff. That's not my job. And I wanted to fight him like, like I was a man. But I had to do it because it was my job. And then six months later, I got a job managing an office and I knew how to do everything in managing yep. that office. There you go. So that was EIP. But in the moment, I couldn't see it and I fought him. So the thing about EIP, you guys, is 
just start saying it to yourself. When things are not going your way, just say EIP. There's there's a bigger picture happening here. This is unfolding for my greater good. I don't know what it is, but mm -hmm. it's going to be revealed. And when it is, you're going to be like, yes, I see it. So awesome. Right. It's like when I break it down to with coaching clients on seminars, I break it down like this. Since we've been on this podcast, you guys have been listening to us. Your heart has been beating. Not one time if you have you had to consciously tell your heart, beat, beat again, beat again, beat again. Mm -hmm. It's been doing it automatically. You've been breathing in oxygen, releasing carbon dioxide. Not one time have you had to tell your lungs, breathe in, breathe out. It's been doing it automatically. Since you were born, you take in an oxygen that's coming from the trees, and that oxygen is affecting every molecule, every atom in your body. Yep. Not one time have you had to tell your body to do that. It's your trillions of cells are rejuvenating themselves. All these incredible things that, that are happening. And you're getting that oxygen and you're releasing carbon dioxide that the trees are using. And the trees are getting chlorophyll from the sun and then the moon and the tides and the stars. And there's this perfect clockwork system in the universe. Precision. Precision. Yep. And people go, well, maybe the universe is this perfect clockwork system and precision. But things that unfold in my life, it's different. It's different when it comes to my life. Mm -hmm. No, it's not. You just believe it's different, but it's not. You cannot separate yourself from the universe. Right. We create the universe. There is no universe without your consciousness. And we're actually made up of the same things as the stars. Hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen, and carbon. The same way everything in the universe that unfolds, none of it's luck, none of it's random. It's precision. It's the same thing in your life. You're always asking for something. You're always sending out what, what some refer to as rockets of desires into the universe. And the universe is always answering it. But the universe has to lead you, from get you from where you are to where you want to be. Mm -hmm. So it has to have different types of events unfold. And not just events, but people. Mm -hmm. And situations and circumstances, because we manifest through other people. Manifestations don't fall out of the sky. Usually someone's like, I heard you want this, or yep. I'm going to introduce you to this person, or come to this event, and then mm -hmm. you meet the person you need to meet, or whatever the case, get the job you need to get. We're all interconnected in this, and that's why it's EIP. Right, that's why it's EIP. And so when that thing that unfolds in front of you, don't get fooled into thinking that it's, just, it's about that. No. Mm -hmm. It's about leading you to something else, something that you've been asking for or something that you want. And you've been asking for so many things. That's why it gets confusing. Like you don't know why, why did this unfold? Why did that unfold? But trust me, people, it's always unfolding for your greater good. So instead of getting upset with it, literally have gratitude and appreciation, no matter what it is. And if you do that, I guarantee you, your life is going to be much happier. You'll be less stress. Mm -hmm. you'll flow better. That's the key. People are like, man, Anthony's so laid back. Anthony don't trip on me. It's because Anthony practices EIP to the point where it drives some people crazy sometimes because they're like, why aren't you freaking out? Why aren't you? Because I always go back to EIP. Yeah. And EIP, once again, it's not just when things are quote unquote good. It's always, Yeah. always. That's a hard one for some people to grasp. But if you can do it and embrace EIP, then your life will be P. I E. Oh my God. You know that's corny, right? But I but it just goes together so <laughs> damn good. I know. It goes together so <laughs> damn good. I just got it. E I P P I E, hey, baby. Hey, E I P. It works for you. There you go. So so there do it. Go. go for it. Do that's it. That's right. No, but I, you know what? I wanted to add something to something you just said about how like you're so laid back and you E I P everything. And some people get upset with you over that. I used to get really upset with you about it. And I used to get upset because I hope people really get this. We attach meaning to everything. Mm -hmm. And I used to believe that when you care about something, you're supposed to show big emotion. You're supposed to get upset. You're supposed to talk about it. You're supposed to show that it means something to you. And because you believe EIP, sometimes you just wouldn't have a reaction to stuff. And I would tell myself, that means he doesn't care. He does mm -hmm. not care about this. And we would get in your passionate debates, passionate debates, passionate debates about it because you wouldn't have a reaction. And then we just started, you know, we were fighting to grow. Mm -hmm. Why are you doing that? Why aren't you upset? Why mm -hmm. aren't you? And once you explained to me EIP and how you use that to keep yourself calm, I got it. 
and I was able to change my belief about it. And now I can EIP everything. Like sometimes I'm in such in coaching situations where people's energy is really hot, right? Like they're yeah. really fighting. And in the past, it would make me really uncomfortable and feel like, eh, I want to run from this and mm -hmm. I don't know what to do here. And all I do is just say EIP in my head and then it just flows. I know what to say. I know how to interact with them. And it's awesome. So thank you for teaching me EIP because I would really freak out about stuff all of the time. And your example, not your words, but your example of like, babe, EIP, let it unfold. Let's see where it's going. Let's see what's going to happen. Mm -hmm. Has really, really helped me in a lot of areas of my life. So I hope people realize you've just been taught that it's programming, right? You've just mm -hmm. been taught you're supposed to freak out over stuff. You're mm -hmm. supposed to get upset. And you're supposed to, you know, run screaming <laughs> when things happen instead of calming yourself with EIP, taking a breath and assessing the situation. And, and here's the thing. Everything's an energy, right? So mm -hmm. problem is an energy and you are not going to find the solution to a problem while you're in the energy of the problem. You mm -hmm. have to get out of that energy yep. and move yourself to a solution frequency, right? A solution mm -hmm. energy and EIP is an amazing way to get yourself there. All right, and you, it does it immediately. Yeah. Immediately. So you can be pissed off, and as soon as you say EIP, mm -hmm. it's like, oh, yeah, EIP. Huh. Mm -hmm. Happened for a reason. I'm grateful it happened. Yeah. And you're back in alignment, you're feeling good, and you keep life, keep it moving. Yes, and I just love when our clients, you know, mm -hmm. do calls with us and tell us, it was EIP, and this happened for a reason, and, and mm -hmm. they get it, and they can really make changes in their lives because they're able to manage their thoughts and their emotions using EIP. Right. And you know, ultimately what it does too is mm. it makes you play chess, not checkers mm. in life. Yeah. It makes you step back and look at a bigger picture and expand your mind and expand the possibilities instead mm -hmm. of, you know, just this is what this means and I'm pissed off. And, and, and the, reaction. And reactionary. Yeah. The, the checkers, it, playing checkers is like being reactionary, right? Yeah. So it's like, this happened to me, so I got to react like this. Or mm -hmm. this person said that, so I got to say this, right? Mm -hmm. Chess is more of, what's my strategy here? Let me plan this. Let me figure out what my move is going to be. How can I win this game of life that I'm yeah. playing right now? Let, let me think 20 steps ahead mm -hmm. instead of one step ahead. Yeah. That's the key to power right there, yeah. having that ability. And it's crazy because... It's not a natural ability no. for most people. You have to practice you it. You have to practice it. Mm -hmm. So most people, if you're reactionary, you're going to get your ass kicked in life. Yeah. Constantly. Constantly. Mm -hmm. So by EIP, it helps you first, like we said, to not be reactionary, not to be just one move ahead. Yeah. Most people, they struggle with two, three moves. <laughs> yeah. But if you keep doing it, if you keep doing it, you'll be able to go to four, mm -hmm. and then to five. When I've been doing it for so long and live by it so religiously that I can literally go like 40, 50 mm -hmm. steps ahead right? and see so many more options. And that's been the key to my success in so many things in life, yeah. even in relationships, especially relationships. Yeah, you are, you are really good at that. Like you can really project your energy forward and like have an understanding of what's coming. Mm hmm I'm not that great at that. I'm, I'll take a nap or something. I'm like, I'm not, let me go lay down somewhere and just rest. Let me go to the spa. Let me just help myself feel good. Let me mm -hmm. listen to some music. Like, that's how I use EIP. I'm like, I just need to get myself back into a good place. Mm -hmm. And then the answers come for me. So we do it a little yeah. bit differently. You know, I think it's taught for most people, though, when you get to things like things that are, let's say, controversial, someone dying, maybe, yeah. or someone getting hurt. Right. Then people are like, oh, how's that EIP? Oh. Yeah. But you know what? Even from horrible, horrible things, yeah. great things come from it. Very true. Right. That's duality in life. There's always duality. There's yeah. good, bad, up, down, cold, hot, easy, hard. Yeah. You name it. There's always duality in every experience. And if all of those, that duality, all of those ingredients are in every single experience, mm -hmm. whenever you have an experience... Whatever ingredient you choose is what you get. Mm -hmm. So the only difference between people that are blessed and that are cursed is that they can look at the same experience. Yes. And that cursed person will always find the curses in that experience. Right. And the blessed person will always find the blessings in that experience. Mm -hmm. So basically, they will always find the EIP. Right. And that's why they live a blessed life. So you guys, it's no different with you. You can mm -hmm. do it and immediately change your life. 
no matter what your situation is, by first having acceptance with EIP. After you have acceptance, then you can change it. Yes. But you have to accept it first. Well, you got to get out of the panic energy and the fear and the mm-hmm. overwhelm or whatever negative energy you're feeling in that moment. And EIP helps you to calm that down. Mm-hmm. And, you know, you, you said like all these situations where, you know, people can look at these things and be like, there's no EIP in that. All you have to do is just ask yourself, what is the EIP in this? Why is this unfolding? How is it for my greater good? Mm-hmm. So one of the examples that you gave was transitioning death, right? Mm-hmm. There's so much that comes out of that. Like we've experienced a lot of that in the last six years in our family. Mm -hmm. And what we've noticed is it brought everybody together. It made each other love each other more. Mm -hmm. It made each other stop arguing over dumb stuff. It reminded everybody to live. It reminded everybody to live. live. Stop taking it for granted. Yes, it reminded us that tomorrow's not guaranteed and don't put off saying I love you and spending time with people that you love. So... That's the EIP in that situation. And so Mm -hmm. that's kind of how it works. Like you have to look at it and go, what actually came out of this? What good came out of this? And it also stops me from being a little whiny bitch. (laughs) And just being able to accept stuff and not be, (laughs) this didn't work out for me. It could have went NBA. It's like, shut up. EIP. Except it. it unfolded that way it was supposed to. So something good's coming. So let me see what I could find for me in there. It may oh, it makes me not get sucked into drama. Hmm. Like I know a lot of, especially a lot of women who are just like so much drama. My friend's doing this, and my friend's sister, and her husband, and <laughs> and I'm just like, yeah, that's their business. They're just working it out. EIP, they'll be okay. Yeah. Everybody's gonna be okay. EIP, uh-huh. you know what I mean? But I don't feel like I need to get into that stuff, right? Because I do think it's EIP. Even yeah, the drama's it's, it's EIP. Always EIP, whether you think it or not. Mm. <laughs> it's, EIP. it's EIP. That's that's the bottom line. Uh, it's so, not up to my thinking no, whether it's not. It just it is. It just is. So you, you can get with it or you can not. You can get with you this can get with or you that. can get with that. That's right. You can get with it. And yes. if, you, if you do, life will be easier. Mm-hmm. Or you can choose to not get with it. It's still going to affect your life. Yes. But it's not going to be uh, a good experience for you. Yeah. I, I think that's a great thing that people, a great tool people can add to their toolkit when it comes to thought management. Mm -hmm. And that's what we're talking about when we're talking about creating your reality. You have got to get a handle on them thoughts and emotions Mm because if you don't, you don't control your mind, your mind will control you. Mm -hmm. And remember, we're all being programmed all the time. We're being programmed by television, stuff on the internet. We're being being manipulated. We're being manipulated, yes, our minds. And and we're being manipulated because, well, I'm not going to say we because I jump I checked out of that club mm-hmm. a long time ago. Right. But the media, the public, mm-hmm. government, and on and on, mm-hmm. they know that the average person only is reactionary. Yes. They're not thinking one or two steps ahead. So all they got to do is go two steps ahead of you <laughs> and plant a bomb there for you. <laughs> right. And you won't see it come in and you'll just walk right into it and blow yourself up. Yeah. So EIP and thinking bigger, thinking Steps ahead, playing chess and not checkers is the complete game changer. You just kind of touched on it earlier mm. with Black Love with the show. Yes. So, perfect example of EIP. Okay. For years, we've been dealing with production companies and we signed major deals with production companies mm-hmm. and trying to get a platform for a TV show or a platform where we could do what we do. Yes. Where we can share what we teach our clients, what we could share it with the world. So each time we got rejected, and I think we've had like 24 offers or something like that over the years. Mm-hmm. Of course, you're going to get disappointed. Right. But we'd always go back to EIP. EIP. We would say EIP. I cried sometimes. I didn't always EIP. I cried sometimes. That's okay. That's okay. <laughs> I'm going to keep it real. Your reaction, that you, it's important to still... Let that whatever emotion you're feeling let it out. don't don't suppress it. You yeah. want to let it out mm-hmm. and experience it, process yeah. it. Yeah. But then after you process it, then go let to EIP. Go. Right. Then you let it go <laughs> and you move on. Yes. And so each time it was EIP. We mm-hmm. didn't we come close, didn't get it. EIP. Come close, didn't get it. EIP. Mm-hmm. Yes, you did come a long way. You did get cry a little <laughs> you cried a few times. <laughs> and you got upset with me a few times because yes, I didn't I cry did. with you. Yep, I sure did. But I still I didn't judge you. I was like, that's my baby. Let her, she's, <laughs> let her go through what she got to go through. She'll be back. Mm-hmm. And you'd always bounce back. And yeah. you, you would use EIP. True. Then we started a nonprofit. Mm-hmm. 
that had nothing to do with that. Right. Then someone on the board of the nonprofit, one of the board members, board members says, hey, guys, I got this link for Black Love. You, I think you guys would be great. I know if you guys apply, apply. for the show, yeah. they're definitely going to pick you guys up. I know it. I guarantee you. And we said, all right, cool. We love Black Love. Let's right. do it. Give it a shot. <laughs> Boom. We did it. They loved us. They picked it up. Yep. We got on the show. Now, boom, we're doing this podcast. Yep. We got a, a platform that yep. we can share with the world. Yep. So it was EIP. That's well, why we did not get the production deals um, with the TV shows. Right. Well, here's one of the things that you left out that I think just makes the EIP so much more amazing is all of those interactions, they wanted us to not be ourselves. Yep. They wanted us to be yep. drama. Yep. They wanted us to do stupid exercises yep. and make cu- couples do fake stuff just oh. for entertainment. Yep, homie, don't play that. They nope. wanted us to agitate people and create upset so there'd be drama. They wanted me to be mean. They wanted you to be mean. And they wanted us to not be the love and light that we want to be in the they world. They even so, told us not to talk about the law of attraction and energy. Oh, my goodness. Like, Are you stupid? Yeah, you're taking away our superpowers. Yeah. That's not going to work. No, so no. that's what EIP is. Black love is about love. Yep. And that's what we want to be focused on. And throughout the entire time, I would always say, you know what? It's EIP. Don't worry. Play chess, not checkers. The universe is doing this for a reason. It's yeah. going to lead us to something that we never saw coming. Yep. Just watch. Wait. Yep. It's going to happen. And when we least expected it, boom, yep. it happened. So we we love our black love family. That's I, right. I always say, I'll do anything for them. They can email me tomorrow and be like, will you show up here? Yes, I will. That's right. Yes, I will. That's yes, I will. Right. I'll do whatever because you are helping me spread love. And I, I love that and I appreciate that. Black love, black love, <laughs> black love. Yeah. <laughs> We love our people. Yes, Yes, we we do. do. Yes, we do. So. Yes. Got some bad news. What bad news? It's the end of the podcast. That's not bad news. It's bad for me. Uh, Because I love talking to the people. I I love doing a show with you, this podcast. Mm -hmm. I just like it. Yeah. A lot. It's fun, right? It's fun. Yeah. It's great. We're just hanging out and talking to each other like we always do. Right, and they get to hang out with us. I know, like, right? <laughs> that's right. That's right. Yeah. But I got some good news. Yes. You know what it is. What is yes. it? Yes. Black Love is back, and you can watch it every yes. Friday. Every Friday. 10, 9 Central on the OWN Network. 10, 9 Central on the OWN Network. Yes. Make sure to get your Black Love people. Seriously. You're mm. missing out if you don't. Yes, yes, yes. So, Good. baby, this was fun. We are spreading love. You guys use EIP. Practice it. Let us know what you think of it. Leave us a review. Follow Follow us on our social media, The Amazing Clarks. We love you guys. We want to hear from you. We want to continue to share with you and empower you. That's the love revolution. When you love yourself, it's easier to love others. That's right. So you guys got EIP. We gave it to you. Now what you going to do with it? That's right. That's right. All right, guys. So we'll see you next time. See you next time, guys. Bye. Bye.